hits the motorcycle. The rider's knocked off his bike in the highway, unconscious. This is happening right in front of Andrew as he's driving. What does Andrew do? He positions his tractor trailer blocking the highway so the guy doesn't get run over, right? Or hit or anything else bad that would happen. So he positions tractor trailer. He then gets out of his cab because Besides being a truck driver, Andrew is a volunteer firefighter. So he also has some skills. So now he moves from being a truck driver to being a first responder. And he goes to the motorcyclist who's on the road, unconscious. He's with them. The gentleman slowly comes to, 911's been called. And he stays there with the driver, taking care of them until those first responders show up. Now, thanks to his quick actions, thanks to his selfless acts, that motorcyclist and others that could have been involved in what could have become a much bigger accident, they all made it home safely that day. So thank you, Andrew. We couldn't be more honored at Goodyear to welcome you to the Highway Hero Award family. Now I'm going to turn it over to Henrik Christensen. Henrik is Andrew's boss and he nominated him for this award. And then We'll take a few minutes to also hear from Andrew in his own words. Thank you, Gary. Good morning, everybody. Um, I want to start off just by thanking you here. I mean, this is an incredible, amazing program that they have set up to really thank the drivers for what they do every year in the transportation industry. And it's just warming to see some good news come from it. Um, I can't speak enough about Andrew's character. This, this would be the least surprising thing from He's kind, generally just a good person that if any of you asked the first time, he'd be more than be willing to give you a helping hand in any way. The morning of the event, Andrew called me, and his exact words start off was, boss, I'm delayed, I'm sorry. He was sorry, he apologized for being delayed. He, he, did, he wasn't boastful, he wasn't patting himself on the back, and I was just completely amazed. He, he truly thought he just did what was right because he could, and it needed to be done. I, I couldn't be more proud. He, uh, he amazes me every day. He's, he's kind, genuine, and just just how humble he was when it all began. So I, I took a mental note that day just because I, I was home oh, oh, just the sorry piece, not even the story that he told me. And then I, I saw the Goodyear hero, and I knew right away I had to nominate him. And then his character just shined through even more from there. So I told him, hey, here, I'm nominating you. I just need, I need to rehash the details. I need to know what the events were so we can do this to be shocked to find out when Cody gave the call to us that Goodyear wanted to select him as a finalist, to just being stunned to be standing here with you today. I'm blessed to have him as a member of my JD Hunt family. And uh, uh, I just can't say enough. I'm, I, it, it warms my heart to know that good things happen to truly good people. And that's what Andrew. What was your second call? To, uh, to accept this honor uh, to be the 2022 Highway Hero <coughs> When I got the call from Goodyear, uh, believe it or not, I actually asked him to repeat himself. Because I didn't think I would. Uh, there was others that probably had just as good stories as I had. And uh, you can actually ask Cody back there. I literally said, hey man, can you repeat that? Because I thought my, my, my Bluetooth had gone out. And he's like, yeah, you want it. And I was like, no, that's not it. There's, there's no um, there's a lot of heroes on the road every day, and honestly, I don't consider myself one. I never have, and I never will. People ask me, a couple people actually have, uh, what was going through my noggin? What was going through my head in that moment? 
one of the many things I went through was something that was told to me for three years straight by one of the greatest men that I know. He was my JROTC instructor when I was in high school. His name was Owen Fowler. And he said to us cadets on almost a daily basis, choose the hard right over the easy wrong. And that was one of the many tools that he put in our toolbox. There's a lot of others that actually don't make any sense. Don't ask me why I still remember the definition of a map to the life of me. I still don't know. But that was one of those days that I literally chose the hard right in more than one way. When I used my truck to block the road, I actually pulled hard to the right. So that kind of helped out a little bit with remembering that and having that in the back there. Honestly, I didn't think that this would ever really happen. Truly humble, truly surprised. Um, been down quite a few different paths in my life. And you know you did something right when your father, who doesn't say it very often, says he's proud of you. And growing up, I didn't hear that a lot. I tried not to cry. I told myself, let's get boys, get to do two things. One's going to cry, one's going to swear. We're almost to one of them. I'll definitely get through without the other. <laughs> and that meant a lot to me, hearing that from my dad, hearing that he's proud of me. And with that, I'd like to thank uh, a couple of different people, uh, starting with my family, uh, for their support, both blood and chosen. And brother, I'm glad you're here. This is my gift to you. Hopefully, you enjoy the next couple of days. I'd also like to thank J.B. Hunt and specifically my boss, Andrew. The nominator, he says, I blame you, boss. You know what I mean when I say that. But honestly, I thank my boss because if I don't, he's going to send me to the funkiest places out in the middle of nowhere for no absolute reason. 